So we have been getting a whole lot of questions from a lot of people that have been buying the cordless combo that just got released in Walmart. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, that one. The cordless combo clipper and trimmer right. set. And their question to us is, what is the best way to hold your clipper? The best way to hold your clipper, well, this is for the beginners, okay? Especially, they never hold a clipper before. What we usually see is that most beginners, when they actually grab a clipper and they start doing, you know, cutting their own hair, they hold it this way, which is not good because what you're doing is you're blocking the view of your head. You can't see where you're cutting, okay? So the best way to hold a clipper when it comes to cutting your own hair is you want your thumb to be right under near the clipper, right? And then have four of your fingers on top of the clipper so you have a better visibility when it comes to fading. The best way to hold your trimmer when it comes to lining yourself up, especially in this, in your temple area, is what you want to do is you want to kind of, I call it the L shape, okay? You hold it as an L. You have an L and you want to pretty much, you want to utilize the merm so you could see where you're cutting. And a lot of, you know, beginners, what they do is they hold it. Sometimes they go, you know, they have their arm across their head and you, it's very hard to navigate. So the best way to hold the trimmer when you line yourself up is remember the L shape. 